everybody, this is Osterny, and welcome back to another episode of Xenoverse 2 Parallel Quest with Mods. I want to make a little bit of an announcement real quick before we really get into the meat of cheese. Two of them, um, first one, Air Talents um, Saiyan Warriors pack has been delayed. Um, Air is a one-man team, so he cannot do everything and still also... Um, do things that he needs to do in his regular life and I do understand that in order to do all this stuff for one person is an impressive feat so be patient um, there will be an update on when to expect the pack um, the next update of it um, probably pretty soon the second thing is the next two episodes that you are going to see are actually going to be from a modding um, friend of mine, a personal modding friend of mine, in Cali Kings. And Cali Kings um, has done a lot of interesting stuff, in particular the Power Rangers pack. Um, also, he has done the, he has um, been in collusion with the uh, Mortal Kombat packs and everything like that. And I really wanted to do this because I wanted to help support him because um, I don't know if you know this but before we get into this I want you to imagine this all this stuff that he's done all the stuff in the past and what I'll link in the annotations as well at the end for some of the other mods I've covered through him all this is done by him through a iMac that's what he bonds through and apparently it is getting to the point where his ability to do it is becoming questionable so I'm going to go ahead and say this in the description below, and I'll remind you again at the end of the um, series, or at the end of this episode, and then at the beginning of the next, and the end of the next one. If you guys want to support um, Cali Kings and get more cool mods like these out faster, and just help him stay in the modding community, because he also mods for Smash as well. If you guys are interested in that, you can probably see a good bit of that stuff on his Patreon too. But, yeah, if you want to support him, take a look at him on Patreon. Dude deserves your time, trust me. He has a lot of really awesome ideas for both games that he wants to continue doing, and I want to spread the word and help him as much as I possibly can. So, without further ado, let's get into the first match. And as you've seen through the thumbnail, Oh boy, we're in for a doozy today now, aren't we? Now I'm going to tell you guys, these are mods that have not come out to the public yet. So, the first character that we are going to cover... Well, actually, we are we are going to do Spongebob, but I think we're going to go in a little bit of a different order. Let's see. Let's do... Oh, you know what? Let's do the Krusty Krab Trio. I have, I have an idea. Okay. So we're going to play as Mr. Krabs in his I Like Money costume. Oh no, I haven't counted me money in the last 30 seconds. <laughs> a lot of people nowadays would be all like, I'm going to get offended at that for everybody. Alright, the next character that we're going to do is Squidward. And he actually has two costumes. His first one is uh, his traditional with the clarinet on his back. And his second is this <laughs> and uh, he actually transforms too so we're gonna be playing as that whenever it's time to play as him that ought to be interesting but he does have some interesting uh, custom moves as well that take advantage of the fact that he has that clarinet on his back if you can recognize the actual stance that he does he might actually do it in combo too which is pretty exciting because I remember um, talking about this there's a lot of um, behind-the-scenes um, stuff that's very interesting about this mod, too, which I'll kind of um, explain Whatever some it is, of that. the answer is no. Oh, you say that what I'm saying is not interesting, Squidward? Well, you know what? Fuck you, Squidward. Fuck you. All right, and our last one, the spongiest sponge himself, SpongeBob SquarePants. Jesus. All right, and in case you guys are wondering, that is the Cell Jr. stance. Um, I'm going to show you guys his uh, moveset. Have a Krabby Patty. And uh, I think you guys might like this move. But also, he has... <laughs> we have SpongeBob Black Pants. 
<laughs> we have Devon Retribution, let's see, um, Ted Times Kamehameha Crusher Patty, um, Super Black Kamehameha Rose, Divine Lasso, oh, that's gonna be awesome. And I think I might play as him, uh, as this version, so I'm gonna go ahead and pick Spongebob to anchor it. Ready. He's ready! He's freaking ready! They're all, um, they're all voiced for at least the intro, outro, I'm not sure if they speak to each other, though. But, um, I think that that's a pretty nice little touch, even though they don't grunt continuously at each other. Alright, like I said, these are kind of early, um, stage, so if you see some, um, things that, um, are a little weird, like if certain characters kind of float a little bit off the ground, um, these are very short characters, mind you, and, um, these were given to me basically to test, but I thought you guys would like to see what the future holds for Callie and why you guys should try to support him if you can. All right, let's go, dude, dude. <laughs> All the little nubs are going. He's like, I'm gonna get some money. <laughs> All right, let's go. All right, Eugene Krabs, let's go kick the crap out of some uh, Ginyu Force members. How about that? Let's go do that. That sounds fun. Let's do that. All right. Whatever, Goldo. You trying to skip out on your bill, are you? <laughs> well, you know what? Hold on. Oh god, I'm ready for it. I'm ready. I'm ready. I know that SpongeBob who's supposed to say I'm ready, but I'm ready. I'm ready to show you guys something. Oh, I like his combos. I don't know who this is, but I do like it. All right. I'm gonna have a crap pet. <laughs> have a. Oh my god. Have a fucking grab. <laughs> So that is a move that almost all the characters have in some way, shape, or form. And it, as you can see, it's the rock toss move, but we've, but, um, well, Callie's replaced it with Krabby Patties, and that is awesome. Um, I think, um, if you, uh, look back on the Pepsi Man mod, which I think that'll be one of the videos I link in the description, um, we, um, the team of Leon... Oni Fox, Cali Kings, because they often work in collusion with each other. Um, they figured out how to um, replace objects, um, like um, what appears in um, the tree from the Fruit of Might. Um, also, they found out how to replace um, Trunks's sword. And, as you just saw, replace the rocks for Rock Toss with uh, Krabby Patties. So, it's actually kind of funny. Um, you can actually now throw Pepsis and Krabby Patties with little wings on them at your opponent. And that is wonderful. That is the most wonderful thing I could imagine. Alright, here we go. I'm gonna get you. Yeah, 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 yeah. That move is actually pretty powerful. Gee, Krabs is kicking the shit out of people. Hey, Birdie. Whatever. That joke isn't funny. Have a crab pay. Really? Oh, jeez, that was a good combo. Good job, Squidward. That might give you a raise out of this. Really, Mr. Krabs? Hell no. <laughs> get him. Let's get this big stupid idiot face of death and destruction. Let's see. Wait a minute. Oh. That's a interesting move. The Ruckus Claw, but it doesn't seem like the sword's been replaced with anything. At least nothing that I could see. And these uh, movesets, besides, I'm assuming, the Krabby Patty um, stuff, are subject to change. If you guys think that you could figure out a interesting suggestion for some uh, extra moves, I'm sure that, uh, whoa, that, uh, <laughs> that Callie would love to hear it. Like... I think um, it would be cool to have them um, just do like have a Pepsi or one of the uh, ultimates from um, Pepsi Man. I think that would be a really cool little uh, throw in. 
And then again, uh, the thing about that is if um, we did, or if he did that, it's it's so weird. I keep on saying we, and that's because I'm so used to like being in the process. I have. I've kept up with um, the characters. I didn't know that um, Mr. Krabs was um, even this close to being done. But I'm so used to um, being a little part of that uh, creative process, suggesting moves and everything like that. But this I didn't have too much to do with. And I might have to give my uh, suggestions about uh, some, some potential moves. And I think maybe one for Spongebob, maybe, depending on, um, depending on how feasible it really is, because I, I have an idea for one, and I'll mention it whenever we get to him in this video. Uh, but Mr. Krabs is boiling, like a, like a crab boils. A wonderful job. Irritated me. But I'm sorry. <sighs> I, I guess is what, a, what Mr. Krabs would say. Why do you have so much power? Because we eat our crabby pennies! You can have a fucking... <laughs> Uh-oh. Super Saiyan Goku get you! Have a fucking son of a You're bitch! Than I Here you go. Have a... But not nearly as strong as me. You won't be as strong as us because you don't eat your fucking crabby pennies! Ah, oh, Jesus. Come on. Makes me kind of, like, question this mod, too, because, like, you gotta consider, like, most of these characters in this game are made with, like, the design of having, like, a thigh, a knee, and a foot for the character design, and now you have characters like Mr. Krabs, who just has freaking nubs! And that's it! <laughs> it's so weird to think about. To think about that as like a kind of sort of technical limitation, but impressive that Kali Kick has gotten that far with it. Alright. But just to show you guys before we end this one, yeah, he, he's a little bit off the ground, but I think that um, that can be kind of. Um, that that can be kind of corrected. So, Callie, if you're watching, if you can, maybe lower, like, I'm not sure how feasible that is, but lower, if you can, like, Callie King's by, or Callie King, lower Mr. Krabs by, like, maybe, like, just a tiny bit, and he'll be, like, at floor level whenever he's on the ground. Although, it's not that big a deal if you really think about it. Because we don't have, like, a freaking, um, tournament of power stage where you just stay on the ground. Most of the time, you're probably gonna be up in the air like me and Freeze are right now. Now let's finish this off right. Have a credit be ready! <laughs> yes. Oh, Jesus. Uh, my freaking... Oh, no. Oh, fuck that up. Uh... My freaking controller now needs batteries because I had it plugged up and I was like, Urgh! but the cord was like doing this, or fuck, this, and it wasn't having it, so that happened. But, other than that, um, interesting thing, um, I didn't feel underpowered at all. I felt like um, the character was pretty balanced. And that's um, kind of interesting, especially for what is supposed to be pretty much a joke character, but I do like that, that you can take a character like that and actually make them um, usable in situations like that. For all the characters that do have transformations, though, I'm kind of wondering how to give Mr. Krabs one, because I've never seen him undergo a seriously different transformation. If you guys have any ideas about that, um, actually, we can make that the question of the day, and I'll put it at the beginning of the video, and you guys will be all like, well, you're a dumb, but I come up with these on the fly. So, what would you, if, um, you could give, um, actually, yeah, this is a two-parter. If you could either give Mr. Krabs in this pack a second costume, or a, um, 
Let's see, a second costume or transformation. What um, what kind of costume or transformation would you give them? Leave it down in the comments below, um, and I'll post it up on Facebook, of course. But yeah, let me know. That I think that this, this would be kind of an interesting theory. But um, maybe somebody will be all like, well, in episode blah, 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 SpongeBob SquarePants, Mr. Krabs went uh, Super Saiyan 3 or something like that. Who knows? But um, give, me, you guys, give me just a second, you guys. I'm going to fix my controller situation real quick. All right, guys, I'm back. Sorry about that little bit of a... Well, you guys don't know. Um, so apparently my little adapter is... Uh, my little wireless adapter isn't working, so I got to resort to still using a cord which I may just permanently go to that, but not with this same controller for other reasons. I'll probably explain it in another video pretty soon, but uh, it's going to be interesting what I do as far as that goes. But let's see, for the next one of these, we're going to go ahead and go with... Yeah, let's go with Daddy Don't Die. I think Squidward could take on Broly and uh, Majin Buu. Yeah, why not? This will totally work. So, yeah, we're going to play as Squidward's alternate costume, Squidgeta. Feel the wrath of Squidward. That's right. So each one of them has a different um, intro um, quote. So that's pretty cool. I really like that touch. And I, and I know what you guys are thinking. Like, there's a big glaring um, omission from this. Like, a good couple of characters. Well, there's a reason for that. And you money. saw it's pretty much all money. of them. Oh, so Mr. Krabs has a variable uh, voice option. That's interesting. But I will be covering all the characters, don't worry. And the one character out of them that doesn't fit, I know you see him. I know you do. And he will be covered. Don't you worry. Don't you worry, people. I will get to him. And once again, that is another character by Callie Kings as well. So, here we go. You know what, I might as well just make this whole thing a Cali King's week. Because, like, I do have one other thing from him that I've been wanting to cover. But if, I'm, if I make a week thing out of it, then who knows? Maybe, um, maybe that'll be a pretty cool thing. And it's all uh, pretty funny stuff, too. And I'll see if um, Cali has maybe something else as well. Who knows? Ooh, that's right, he actually uses his clarinet bed combo. Come on. Yeah, that's right. God, Squid Gita, all you see from him is his freaking nose on the selection screen, and I love it. Yeah, that's right. He's using the using a clarinet like nobody's business. Oh jeez. Oh no. Guess what? It's time. Super Squid Blue. God, this is just too much. It really is. Ah. Uh, how hard does he hit? God, he, uh, he's pretty powerful in this form, I have to say. Alright, get him. Get him. Oh, jeez. Yeah! <laughs> With the final clear in that strike of death. And now... ...to attack Broly. Nice. Gosh, you want to know something that would actually be a really cool um, move somehow? If somehow you could uh, get him to actually use um, the clarinet for the, um, let's see, for uh, Whis's ultimate. That would be kind of cool, just to have in his hand just as he, like, goes it around. Like, I know it wouldn't make much sense, but I just want every excuse possible to use the clarinet. Yeah! Screw you, Broly. 
Let's charge up while we can. All right. Okay, so we got a good bit of key now. This shouldn't be ain't nothing but thing. Caca cabbage cake. Yes. Bam. Get him. Yeah. Squid Jeet is a sneaky warrior. Get him. That was a different attack. Maybe it was Vegeta that did that one. I have to assume it was. Because I'm the only other one with a big bang attack, I think. Oh, nice. Kind of moved into it, didn't you? Oh, geez. Jesus. Freaking Squid Vegeta is the truth. That, that sounded so white. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have done that. Squid Jeta's off the chain, guys. Just look at him. He's such a good, he's such a good character. He's beating him. He's beating up brutally. This is how this is how it goes down in my fan fiction because because Squid Jeta went to went to the realm of the gods and he just started beating the crap out of Beerus because because he was like. Uh, He's like, I'm a, I'm a Claire not playing G, you know what I'm saying, homie? And he went up to, went up to Beerus and slapped him on the ass, and then he blushed. And he was like, oh, Squid G to Senpai. Oh, <laughs> uh, I am fucking weird. <laughs> yeah. All right, oh, geez. Okay, I think we need to, like, concentrate on actually winning this fight because, uh, I don't want this to be all my fight, but at the same time, I kind of want it to be. Okay. Okay, so that's, there's only one stage to the transformation. I just wanted to check that because if there was like a Super Saiyan Blue 2 or 3 in particular for Squid Gita, I would have been like, oh dang, best, best mod ever, best mod, game over guys. You know what, Air Talent, go fuck yourself, this, this is the best mod ever. <laughs> I'm just kidding, Air. I love you. You gotta let us know whenever we're to expect the next uh, pack out, because I want that. Well, thank you, Cell, for saying that I'm perfect. I'm perfect, you hear that? That's an endorsement from Cell himself, saying that I'm perfect at playing as Squid Jita. My Squid Jita skills are on a whole nother level. MLG, 2K17, fucking pro-level strats. You can't even handle me. All right, so now we're going to go for something a little bit harder, as you can see. Because we are about to bring the pain. We are about to bring the pain. Because it is time for SpongeBob Black Pants. Ah, uh, this is gonna be interesting. You've just met the Sponginator. Indeed, we have. <laughs> Oh god, I don't know if I'm ready. I played a little bit of Spongebob because I needed to make sure that this that these mods worked at least well enough before I really started recording. But I didn't play a Spongebob Black Pants though. But yeah, um oh shit. Uh where's okay, then you got Mr. Krabs. Money? Did somebody say money? Yes, we did save money. And also, we will have Squidward. Whatever it is, the answer is no. Hey, hey. I'm getting you to battle up against the gods. Oh, still no? No? Okay. Well, too bad. We're already in space. Somehow we can survive in space and out of water. Oh, jeez. He looks like he is about to mess somebody up. This is going to be magical. Now then, we. I'm ready when you oh, he's got the keyblade, and it actually fits onto his oh, hand. That's, that's even better. Spirit. Oh, and he's he's it pretty OP I too. Holy crap! This time. Come here, come here, Weiss. 
Okay, let's crush your patty. <gasps> oh, it's a it's the crusher ball, but it's the freaking Krabby Patty. I love it. Oh my god, I love it. <laughs> Give me Give me Yeah. Good. It's been a while since I've had fun. Boy, oh. I'm gonna get you with the crush book. Yeah. Oh, jeez. That is awesome. You want what would be even better if you guys, if uh, Callie, you could make a crusher volcano and it's all crappy patties? Would you like to be the next god of destruction if Lord Beerus kicks the bucket? I'm too busy. <laughs> I'm too busy over at the Krabby Patty. Yeah. <laughs> But seriously, I'm gonna murder your face. <laughs> Something tells me that that's what um, SpongeBob would do. He got hit hard though for some reason. I'm not sure why. Maybe he's a glass cannon good. character. In I which, if guess. that's the case, that's interesting. Oh. I'm gonna get you. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Ooh, divine retribution. Ooh, I went way oh, down. Lost. Oh man, I got I lost. Knees. Don't get lazy. Let's get him. Oh, I got him. Oh my God. Hmm. Not awesome. Bad. Not bad Let's go ahead and charge. Come on. Before creation comes destruction. All right, let's let's do this. This is actually pretty cool. I wish um, SpongeBob did have a um, his uh, his own custom ultimate though, which is kind of why I suggested the um, I guess the Krabby Patty volcano of death, a destruction and despair. So, uh, Callie, if you're, uh, watching, which I'm sure you will watch this, I think that would be a pretty cool, uh, a pretty cool move. Doot, 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 doot. All right, and bam! All right, not bad, not bad on damage. Oh, jeez. I fell all the way down. I'm coming up to get you. I'm coming to get you. Jeez, I love how, like, the Keyblade is bigger than Spongebob himself. It is... It is something to witness, for sure. Alright. Ah, come on. Jesus. Come here. Oh, I gotcha! Oh, it's over now. It's over now. It's over now. Done! Oh, almost done. Let's finish this off with this other finishing move. Ah, God. Ah, oh, jeez, I'm falling. I'm free. Free falling. Oh, jeez. I believe in myself. Get him! Almost got him. Let's see if I can get him. Yes! I think I'll have sweet dreams. Uh, that was awesome. Okay, so SpongeBob Black Pants is an OG, but I think yeah. he well is a glass day. cannon type character. So that's fine by me. I really like that um, there was some that there may have been some thought put into that. Although this is early access, so. All these moves are subject to change. I'm pretty sure that the Krabby Patty um, attacks will remain in there, but um, I think that I'm going to stick with my idea, and this week will just be um, things to come from Cali King's kind of week. So 
this week, whenever I upload um, a video, anything that you see is something that Callie is going to have something to do with. And in the annotations below, I will link you to more videos of stuff that I've covered from him in the past. And um, particularly today, I'll put mm, I'll put both uh, Power Rangers packs and um, the uh, Pepsi Man uh, pack into uh, the ending annotations. But thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to know when the next episode is coming out. Be sure to check out Callie King's Patreon and support him if you want more awesome content like this. This, this mod is not quite available to the public yet, but I will also throw in a bonus. I will throw in Callie King's... Um, Callie King's... I know that someone's going to murder me for the pronunciation on that, but I will throw in his uh, modder profile for XenoverseMods.com so you can take a look at everything he has out right now. So, that's going to be it in question of the day for you guys. Um, what is a transformation or costume you think would be good for Mr. Krabs? Um, for me, I think, you know what? I think Ginyu Force crabs. I think make them purple and put them in some uh, Ginyu Force stuff. Like maybe incorporate the horns somehow. I'm not sure how you would do that, but I think that would be a pretty interesting thing. Um, a transformation, that's the one where I'm not so sure about. Um, part of me says... Oh gosh, it would be interesting if he could like fly on a cloud of money or something like that and had like, I don't know what he would use as a weapon though. That would be the tricky part. But yeah, oh, well, I'll mention that in the next video. I forgot to mention something about SpongeBob, but I can do that in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Ostuni, signing off. Yeah!